So we walked the wretched stretch of 125 and all its pushy, rushy malevolence, but a reprieve soon comes in the form of an indicated turn, allowing us to take our leave of this ghastly car thing and once more enter a congenial forest. There. It's better already. And it will only improve as we gain further distance. It's actually surprisingly impressive how they snake things through here. It's the usual grass roots array of agreements with several jurisdictions of landowners, public and private. And it works swimmingly. It's your basic pine copse, a grove. Look at how the pine needles end up becoming like decorative festooning for the oak that still hasn't entirely succumbed to frost. our way out of the pine grove, coming upon another indicated turn. And a shift in the nature of the plant community, away from coniferous and into deciduous. Structure, the indicated turn blaze thoughtfully confirms this.
up in another indicated turn boys. And another turn indicated. The blazing has been exemplary throughout your basic and over standard of excellence. I've come to know and love about the town. It's like an incubator for best practices. Up oh, the confidence place. Do another couple of little street traverses. Across the Phillips end over campus. And keep going until we meet the Shashin. Thus, finally, covering nearly all of Andover. I'll just have a little bit down the southwest and Harold Parker left. And it's a big town and there's a lot of bay circuit in it. I see that wetland area I recall earlier. Mostly fragments. The hour of the indicated turn with color. There was a little mid trail funny cash mailbox here last year. But it seems to have been kicked to the side. Here we have it. There's a few vandalism instances around.
Yeah. Yes, I can. Leaf filtered sun dapples. What would Gerard Manley happen today? This all seems to be like overgrown apple orchard stuff. 